This is one of my favorite ways to cook fish, delivering a perfect lunch or dinner every time and full of flavor hacks using everyday ingredients. Succulent salmon steamed in the bag with a spicy chorizo and almond and roast pepper sauce. So we're gonna buddy up beautiful salmon with charizo sausage, that fantastic classic Spanish sausage. Let's push the protein to one side. I'm gonna make a sauce. It's gonna be quick, sweet, and delicious. What it does need is the help from a liquidizer. So in there, I'm gonna put half a tin of chickpeas, juice and all, red peppers, half a jar of these. They're sweet, they're smoky, they're outrageously tasty. A little pinch of salt, a little pinch of pepper, and a little handful of almonds. Now, you can use regular almonds. These are smoked almonds. They taste amazing, smoky and gorgeous. So we'll whiz that up with just a little swig of vinegar and a kiss of extra virgin olive oil. This will give you the most amazing ruby red sauce. It's that simple. OK. Let's just have a little taste. Sweet and delicious. I want to show you a preparation for the fish. I've got two very typical salmon fillets right there. You want to score into the skin about a centimetre, right? And you can do that twice. We can put things into these little cuts and we can add flavour. Also, it'll help it cook quicker. So win, win, win. I'm going to season it first, but also herbs. Parsley, mint, basil, gorgeous. So as that fish cooks, the flavour from those herbs is going to go straight into that fish. And then we've got a sausage just winking at me. Just cut it up, little thin slices. But what we love about this is their use of spices, paprika, garlic, herbs. The great thing about chorizo is it really does make everything taste better. OK, we're going to make our own little envelope to cook all this. So get yourself some wide tin foil. I go for just over a metre and then fold it in half just so it's more robust. So I'm going to put my sauce on one side and then if you wanted to spike this with any veggies, asparagus, peas, broad beans, you can. I'm just going to go for those few little leftover chickpeas. Go in with the chorizo. Just scatter it in and around. That's going to cook in the sauce. And then we'll lay on top these beautiful salmon fillets. Look at that. So we'll kiss it with a little olive oil. And what we're going to do is make our little tin foil bag. First of all, just bring in the edges. We don't want to have any sauce escaping. A little tight nip like that, nice and tight. And then we've got the last one. One centimetre turn, two centimetres. So look, now we've made the envelope. As it cooks, the sauce boils, it steams, it hits the top of the bag, then it rains down. Beautiful moisture on the fish. It gives you the most amazing flavour and succulence. Now get yourself a tray. We won't be getting it dirty, but we'll use it to cook it in. And the lovely thing about this, you can put whatever combo you want together. You can go Asian flavours, you can go curry flavours, you can go like tomatoes, olives, different fish. You can even do chicken breasts. Brilliant. So let's get these in the oven at 220 degrees Celsius, which is 430 degrees Fahrenheit, about 15 minutes, and then I'll show you. So you can see the bag has puffed up. Let's get it out. Oh, come on! What I like to do is fancy it up in a little platter, like this. By the way, clean, no washing up. Happy days. And then get a knife and just break it. And be careful not to burn yourself. So imagine taking that to the dinner table. A bit of excitement. <laughs> it smells absolutely amazing. Give it a little kiss of lemon juice in those little gaps. Look at that. And I love just to serve it with some nice crusty bread to mop up all of the juices. Let's have a little try. Mm, I love it. Every now and again, you come across a little bit of chorizo, chickpea. Wow. It's just the most fantastic way to cook fish. A one-pound wonder or a one-bag wonder, it doesn't matter. Give this a go. You're going to love it.